Hello, everyone, and welcome to the VI Game Show. How well do you know you're blind? How well do you know your guide, athlete? And I'm uh, your fellow athlete, Aaron Shais, as the host today. And today we have uh, VI athlete Kyle Kuhn and his guide, uh, renowned triathlete Andy Potts. So uh, thanks, you guys, for coming on and uh, you know partaking in this little uh, little game show. Thanks for having us, man. Looking forward to it. Yeah, you're fresh yeah. off your uh, your Tokyo experience, so uh, that was going to be a lot more. That's going to be a lot more competitive than this uh, adventure, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I'm about ready to. I, I think I'm gonna. I think I know Kyle better than he knows me. We're gonna find out. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, so, uh, this is gonna be fun. This is how the game show is going to go, and uh, the purpose of it is exactly what uh, Andy just stated. We're going to see how well each of you know each other, since the blind athlete relationship is almost like a marriage. Um, we're going to see who knows each other better and who was paying attention when the other person was talking. Uh, so um, you're going to do. We're going to have to do five questions for each of you. They may not be the same question uh, about the other person. Um, and then after the end of five questions, we see who has got the most right answers. If it's tied, then we go one question at a time up to 10 questions, uh, to see the, the, the winner. Sound good. Sounds great. All right. Well, uh, let's go, um, with how well do you know you're blind? How well do you know your guide athlete? Uh, Kyle, this is the first question is to you. What quite what college did uh, Andy attend and also swim at and was an all American at? Oh, oh man, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the University of Michigan. Ding, ding, ding! That is correct. That's a softball. That's so easy. That's too easy. Too easy. Well, we're, it's the first question. I agree. <laughs> so, uh, well, you know what? This first question, Andy, is gonna be the same to you. What school did our uh, our boy Kyle attend for college? Kyle went to the University of Central Florida in Orlando. Oh man, you, you guys might have been pre planning these uh, these, <laughs> but we'll see. That was just question one. Uh, I think that just means Andy read my book. <laughs> I did read your book. <laughs> oh, that might be another problem. You wrote yourself a book. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> So then, you know, you give away all your answers. Yep. Okay, Q2. Kyle, this is to you. Uh, what food or drink does Andy, can he not stand? Oh, man. I was actually just thinking about this because I was trying to remember it because I, I swear we were sitting at the table in Kona and uh, we, were, we were talking about it. And for some reason, like, I think it's... Uh, like it, it was like a really good food. Um, but I do know that 100% Andy can absolutely not stand. He despises, and we all think he's crazy, coffee. That, that is correct. I, I really think that uh, maybe you guys discussed here before uh, uh, giving me <laughs> facts about yourself. So, uh, okay, yeah. well, let's just see it uh, here. Andy. Uh, this is question two for you. What can Kyle not stand other people doing? One thing that people could do that Kyle cannot just can just not stand. Ooh. I know these are fun and light, and I'm trying to think. Does, so I do know when, um, like, oh, I, I, Okay, let's say I'm my, I, I could be wrong here. I, I probably am, but Kyle does not like it when um, uh, people do everything for him. He likes autonomy. That that actually is probably a right answer, but it's not the one we're looking okay. for. So, and I'm going to give you a, a you know the buzzer on this one. Kyle cannot stand it when people push the tooth, squeeze the toothpaste. From anywhere but the one end, the far end. Oh, yeah. okay. So next time you're with Kyle, don't be squeezing in the middle, okay? Check. We do. We don't share toothpaste. So I don't know that. I think I haven't. Well, you like, just haven't been too observant. You're the eyes in this relationship. <laughs> check. Check. <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, it's it's, we got- it's it's a weird it's a weird it's a weird habit. I tell I tell my my girlfriend Jess all the time that she squeezes the toothpaste wrong. So we now have separate tubes of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> So we got Kyle uh, two points and Andy one here. Kyle, third question for you. Um, what I just think you're going to get this because you've been around each other too much, but or maybe just Andy gave me too easy facts about himself. Uh, what does Andy do a lot before a big race? Oh, what does Andy do a lot before a big race? Uh, I know. He, I mean, he does a lot of stuff a lot. <laughs> I'll be honest. I mean, like he he goes on like huge bike rides before a race. He, uh, I mean, but like for some reason, it sticks in my head. Like I don't know, a couple there were there were a couple of times when Andy was like loading up on like chocolate chip muffins right before a race. Uh, so uh, just for just for fun, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, he likes to uh, eat sweets before a race. Again, that may be another thing that he likes to do, but it's not the one we're looking for. Uh, of course not. For you. Uh, <laughs> Kyle, uh, Andy likes to sleep a lot before a big race. Ah, uh, you know, I should have, I should have, I should have gotten that one. Cause we, uh, uh, we, uh, had to make a, a rule in the, the week leading up to Tokyo about putting our phones on do not disturb at night. <laughs> oh, I, I blew it one night. <laughs> All, well, his phone, because, you know, the, the, you're just in a different time zone and people are just hitting him up and whew, he's a popular man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Third question for uh, Andy. What is Kyle's favorite color? You can tie it up here. No. Jeez. Oh, so for some reason, I want to say green. But I'm not going to say green. I'm, I'm going with either, like, I'm going with a dominant color. It's, it's, I'm going to go blue or red here, Kyle. And it's probably going to be, like, white. I, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go red. I'm going red. You got to go with your gut instinct, your first instinct. Blue. It's green. Go blue. Oh, it was green. It is no, green. If you're, if, Remember, we did that 3K at the track, and, uh, and DB asked me uh, that question <laughs> on, the, uh, oh, on the track, yeah. remember? We're That's why it sticks your, in your favorite, head. Yeah, we were trying to get your favorite color to be gold, and yep. then like, green. I wanted, see, I wanted to say green. I know, I, man. You should have went with I, your like, gut. You had you it there, and then, and then you changed directions. <laughs> it's because yeah. we're all repping, like, USA colors. It just... The, the subliminal <laughs> yeah it was yeah you got you got distracted got persuaded <laughs> by the the red white and blue there you go all right well uh andy um you're gonna really have to pick it up these next few questions here uh kyle you have uh two right and one wrong andy you have one right and two wrong so um anyways we're going on to question four here okay uh kyle this might be a hard one for you uh oh what is Andy's fastest 10 K on the track. It has to be within 30 seconds. Oh, fastest within 10 three, within three seconds, within oh. three seconds. It has to within be within three, three seconds. seconds. We'll give it oh. yeah. on the track. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to go. Don't be making me slow, Kyle. <laughs> I, I know. I know. Like, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go 28-15. That's, well, okay, that's not even within the 30 seconds, but you really think that Andy's a fast runner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the correct answer is 29-34. Oh. So now we have, uh, is that two? That was your off-the-bike 10K. It, it was, like, technically, that is my off-the-bike 10K. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. Well, technical doesn't matter in this game. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Andy, this is question four. You both have two incorrect answers. Okay. I'm getting back in the game here, Kyle. You're getting back in the oh, game. Yeah. If you can get this one right. What was Kyle's first competitive sport? Okay, competitively? Now, I better get this right 
because he may not have been very competitive in it, but no, I don't know. No, he was. He was actually really legit at it, and he and he had a new system, or maybe it wasn't a new system, but he figured out a system to um, find where handholds were in competitive climbing, and he had this clock system all set up, and he would be um, to be competitive. It was a it was a, a tactile thing and a coaching thing. Um, and there were some discrepancies with the, some of the rules, but he was a great climber growing up as a kid. That's that's correct. Oh, man. I think we're tied back up again. Yeah. Locked back in. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's five uh, five questions. Uh, or, no, we're on we're on question five. That's four <laughs> questions. And you both are two and two. So no, Kyle, Kyle, wasn't I right? You, you had a clock system, yep, right? Yep. Yeah. You're yeah, dead on, man. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, question, question five uh, for Kyle. Um, what does Andy like to do when he's uh, listened to when he's training? What does Andy like to listen to when he's training? Hmm. You know, when he, ah, uh, shoot. Nice. For some reason it sticks in my mind that like, I didn't think you were a big music listener when you were like on the, on the trainer. Um, so I think you're, I, I think you like listening to podcasts when you're training. So I'm going to go with that. That's a good answer. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct answer. Okay. And, and I think we might have to go into overtime because if, if Andy doesn't get this, he might get this next one. He might get fired. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> yes. Uh, Andy, question number five, what is Kyle's favorite food to eat after a big race? After a big race? Post-race food. Sure. He's been known to house a ton of food, but his go-to food is a Bubba burger. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We're, we're going into, into extra. That's uh, You both have uh, three and two. Three answers right, two answers wrong. Okay. Okay. All right. The full so, count. Uh, now, this is, the, this is the elimination round, okay? We're not – there's no more – three more questions. This is – you get it right, the other person gets it wrong, you're the winner. Oh, gosh. All right. There's not a big jackpot like, uh, like Tokyo, though. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Aaron. So, all right. Kyle, we're going to you first here. If Andy decided not to be a professional triathlete, what would have he went into as a profession? He was going to be a, I believe, a, were you going to be an English teacher, Andy? I think that's what it was. I was going to, sorry, Aaron, is that right, right or wrong? Well, we're going to, what's, what's your final answer there, Kyle? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go. I mean, I know he was going to be a teacher. Um, I just can't remember if it was an English or a math teacher, but I'm going to go with English. All right. Well, we're, we're going to give it to him because the, the answer was he would be a high school teacher or, and or coach. Yeah. Uh, the goal, yeah. The big goal was. That's right. right. You, you were going to be a the swim. You were going to, you wanted to be a swim coach. That's right. Yeah, no, it was, it was high school English teacher and then coach after, after school. Yep, yeah, so that's we're, right. we're going we're gonna to give him on that one. Yeah. Uh, now, Andy, this is all the pressure to see if you're a clutch performer or not. Yeah. This is the elimination yeah. round here. Uh, Andy, what is uh, Kyle's favorite dessert? We know he likes sweets. What's his favorite? Oh, heavens. So <laughs> Kyle, Kyle is known as like the team trash can. If you if you don't want something, you give it to Kyle, and that way we'll eat it. So <laughs> I thought that was me. <laughs> oh, you're big. You're big on that too. Oh, I'm. I got. I got. I got a stomach. Okay. Um, now we we all have a teammate on Team USA, uh, Chris Hammer, who loves sweets as well, and he he adopted a few nicknames. Jeez. I feel like I'm going to let you hey, down. For it. I have to call something out, but you'll house everything. So I'm going to say, okay, this may not be the right answer, but at least it's fun. To say. I'm going to say it's a fly-by brownie. 
<laughs> it's a what? <laughs> I'm gonna say it's brownies, Hi. but for me and Kyle, it's called a flyby. It's flyby yep. brownie. <laughs> a flyby round. Flyby fly brownie. <laughs> oh no, that's that's it. That's it correct. Is, that's, uh, Kyle. Uh, well, the answer is uh, apple pie a la mode. Oh, you know, I probably should have known that. Actually, we but, have a really. I it was a good try there. I mean, I would have went for the chocolate if I were you t- as well. So, I mean, uh, but, so the, the, the story behind the flyby brownie, though, is every every time we're, we're in the dining hall in Tokyo and like we get up, you know, you got desserts all the time. You know, the dessert is just sitting out there and they put it right, of course, on your way out the door. And, and Andy would always say, hey, you want to do a flyby? And, oh. and, and like, every time we did a flyby, we grabbed a brownie. <laughs> grabbed a brownie. I see. But they don't <laughs> typically do flyby apple pie pieces. No, no unfortunately. It's not such a, a, a flyby. Yeah. Well, um, Andy, it was, uh, it was, you know, a good shot. Looks like uh, Kyle may know a little bit more about you or at least this type of information about you. So, uh, but thank you for coming on to uh, How Well Do You Know You're Blind? How Well Do You Know Your Guide? Game show. Thanks you guys take care. Thanks you for having us, man. Yeah, Good no problem.